Kyla here and welcome back to my channel. Come along with me as I spend a couple of days in the south of France. Let's dive right in, but first let me just add my intro in here real quick. to Paris. We're at the airport and our flight to Nice doesn't leave for I think for an hour. So I'm about to get these little macarons right here as a little treat because I think that was the worst flight I've ever been on <laughs> in my entire life. It was hot, cramped, and just not the vibe. Salted caramel, one pistachio, um, one chocolate, and one vanilla, and then one raspberry. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, bag secured. I'm gonna go eat these up and then just wait till our flight <laughs> starts boarding. I literally devoured the salted caramel one, and this one is pistachio. They're so cute. Oh wow. Finally arrived in Nice. And the airport is so nice. Yeah, I slept. Crazy what leg space and some AC exactly. could do. <laughs> we were heading over to the baggage area and then this happened. Oh my god. What happened to her? Please. Is she in the tube? No, 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 she's the pillow in. Did Thanks. you vlog that? <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> I'm dead. Aww. Look, it says, I love Nice. What's going on? How can I look? I'm trying to get the tea. <laughs> so her neck pillow is stuck. went to get our suitcases. There they are. <laughs> I think the ride was only like 15 or 20 minutes, so not too bad at all, but we finally arrived to our hotel. This was the Villa Victoria Hotel in Nice, and it was gorgeous. Like, look at these green windows. They're giving... This is actually footage from the next day because it was pretty overcast on the day that we arrived, but we thoroughly enjoyed our stay here and they had a free breakfast. So that's a huge plus in my book. This is the street view and I loved how the street was popping, but like not too noisy. And then this is the view from the window in our room. Thankfully, we didn't have reservations until later in the evening. So that gave us a lot of time to rest, relax, shower, and get ready for dinner. At around 7 p.m., we headed over to this restaurant called Boca. It was a Mediterranean restaurant, so we were super excited to try it out. This entryway was so cute, and I would give the ambiance a 10 out of 10. The service was also really great, and honestly, some of the waiters were kind of cute. I also loved the overall aesthetic of the restaurant. The rattan lights and the matching chairs were such a vibe. Now onto the food, there was definitely hits and misses. This hummus was really good. It had meat and pickled onions. It didn't come with pita chips or pita bread though, which I thought was kind of weird. It did come with regular bread. And then we got this camembert cheese with hazelnuts and cranberries, and this was literally fire. We also got this beef cheek confit over mashed potatoes. And honestly, it looks good, but it was so mid. It was bland and and I just feel like it wasn't memorable, which was really disappointing. And then I literally hated this pasta right here because it was so undercooked. I feel like it was cooked a step before al dente. I did really like these potato and chorizo croquettes though. Overall, I would give the food a 6.5 out of 10, but I would definitely come back for the vibes. I just would not order that pasta ever again. Here we are at another restaurant for dessert. And they have so many <coughs> options. 
so we ended up getting this cookie butter tiramisu to share and this was so good I think this is my top three things that I ate in France overall it was so decadent and just the perfect way to end the night <laughs> so cute thank you oh shoot I have low battery oh there is live music Maison Margot. After dessert, we decided to take a couple pictures in this plaza area and then we called an Uber back to the hotel. We decided to turn in early so we could try and get a full night's sleep. We had a packed agenda of exploring planned for the next day, so we just wanted to feel well rested. This was such a chill and easy first day in Nice, which I loved, and I will see you tomorrow. Good morning. She's doing my hair as per usual. Yes. See, she got this technique going on, which I don't know. I've literally been curling my hair since I was in like middle school. <laughs> we're going to Monaco today. And we're going to explore Nice a little bit more. And then go to Monaco in the afternoon. Honestly, the bathroom is giving, like, the light. Like, look at it. Nice. She's wearing this cute, like, wrap neck sweater and a skirt. Are you wearing boots or, um, like, high knee? I'm gonna wear boots. With boots? My Madewell boots. Ooh. And then I'm gonna wear a sweater over this that has, like, pearl buttons. And then I have trousers on and then my Nikes. And then I think we're gonna shop <laughs> in Monaco. We'll see, though. But, yeah. I'll update you later. Bye. Oh, it's so cute in here. Okay, coffee. so this is a hazelnut coffee and then a single shot. Mm -hmm. And she got a double. double. So cute. The little one. Yes. We took the cutest photos outside this little flower shop. I will add them at the end of this video if you want to check those out. Then we decided to go to the viewpoint overlooking Nice at the top of the chateau or castle hill where the arrow is pointing. Thankfully, they had a free elevator, so you know we was hopping on that. I would have died if we had to climb up all those stairs. But this view was literally so gorgeous and I just felt so at peace here. The cute little part. Oh, pickles! Oh no, it's a cactus. Wow. Hey, waterfall. <laughs> We made our way down to the train station to head over to Monaco. There was actually a peaceful strike or boycott going on at all of the Nice train stations, so they weren't sure when the next train would be leaving. At least that's what the employee told us. So we ended up calling an Uber. From Nice to Monaco, it was about like 20 minutes. And Monaco is literally gorgeous, y'all. Let me show y'all how bougie it was over there. This is the famous Monte Carlo Casino with all the fancy cars in front of it. We ended up eating at Café de Paris, and this place was so upscale and bougie. It was huge too. They had outdoor seating and two floors of indoor seating. Okay, we ordered foie gras, salad, fries, oysters, and then this clam pasta, which was another one of my favorite things that we ate. Then we got a bunch of bread. The view here was literally breathtaking. You can see the casino and some of the shops as well. It's funny because you can't tell in the video, but it was really hot, and I remember I was wearing a thick sweater, so I was about to have a heat stroke. Okay, look at these oysters, and they have shallots in the middle soaked in vinegar, and then it comes with this like really salty butter with bread. <laughs> After lunch, we decided to finally go shopping, and I was pretty set on getting sunglasses, but I also got a little something else. Okay, I have not seen these gray bags in the States. She is so cute. Let me show you in the mirror. After shopping, we had dinner reservations, so we tried to call an Uber, but then we realized that Monaco does not have Uber in the country. 
It's its own independent country from France, so you can get an Uber going into Monaco, but you cannot get one leaving. We spend 15 to 20 minutes freaking out, trying to figure out what to do, and stressing that we would have to stay a night in Monaco, which would be super expensive. Thankfully, there was a taxi hub near the shop, so we were able to find someone who was kind, genuine, and most importantly, down to drive us back to Nice. We had to skip our dinner reservation because we weren't confident that we would find someone to drive us from the restaurant back to Nice, but honestly, that's fine. I just wanted to be back at the hotel. You like the blue or you prefer the pink? Ooh, let's try pink. You, you, you mean the, oh, the car? Oh, pink. Pink. Oh, that's, <laughs> it's gold. Oh, yes. It's nice. It's a nice car. Thank you. She has a good taste. <laughs> Thank you for helping us. <laughs> we were scared we were going to be stuck. What is stuck? Uh, uh, stranded. Lost. Stranded. Or you mean not to be able to go back? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you always have drivers. <laughs> oh, thank God. Yeah. <laughs> He was so nice y'all and I'm so thankful that we found him because we felt super safe on the drive back. He was honestly really bougie too, like his car was super fancy and he wore these leather driving gloves. He was also playing classical music so I was like oh wow. I feel like everyone we've met in the south of France was just super down to earth and nice. We had such a great day exploring and I definitely spent a pretty penny at Prada but it was all worth it. Once we got to the hotel, we ordered some pizza for dinner and then called it a night. Our flight was in the morning so we ended up packing our bags up so we wouldn't have to wake up too early. We did however wake up in time for the free breakfast. So this is the next morning and I just want to show y'all what we had at breakfast these past couple of days. This is their spread. They had a lot of cold cuts, vegetables, cheeses, breads, pastries, jams, cereal. And then this is me grabbing some honey for my tea. I love picking a hotel with free breakfast because that's one meal that you don't have to pay for and you can use those funds elsewhere. Okay, this is my plate. I got a croissant, some eggs bacon and then a piece of cheese and a piece of salami it was really good we are making our way to paris today but i just want to say that i am definitely coming back to nice when the weather is warmer i feel like this city thrives in the spring and summer so i can't wait to see nice in its prime someday i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here we made our way to the nice airport which is literally beautiful they had a ton of shops and they even had a joe in the juice so i got a little juice and a tuna cotto Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all in the next vlog. Okay, bye.